Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to meet you again. Hi, David. It's nice to talk to you again. How can I help you today? Outside is very sunny. I'm, I'm very happy with that. That's wonderful, David. Sunny weather can really brighten up the day. What do you enjoy doing when it's sunny outside? You know, I have to, I have to go, I have to go to the office. It's working day. I can't go somewhere I want to go. It's understandable. Work keeps us busy, even when the weather is nice. Hopefully, you can take some breaks to enjoy the sunshine, even if it's just for a few minutes during lunchtime. How's your day at the office going so far? It's been great. But anyway, let's get started my embarrassing moment with you. You know, as I told you, I called this moment is embarrassing moment because I have to say in English, only English, without any script and this kind of sudden and unexpected camera recording makes me embarrassed, nervous. But I, but I think I have to keep going with you in English. That sounds like a great idea, David. Embracing those moments of speaking English, especially spontaneously, is an excellent way to improve your skills. Don't worry about feeling nervous. It's natural, and it shows your dedication to learning. I'm here to support you every step of the way. What would you like to talk about today during our embracing moment? Jennifer, I think I need to be confident, even if my speaking is not perfect. Consistency is the key to improve. So I planned, I mean, I think I need, I will meet, I will meet you and most five days a week to improve my speaking and listening skill. I want to keep going with you. And if there is any unnatural or grammatically incorrect point, I mean, my, I mean, about my sentence, please let me know right away. That's a fantastic plan, David. Consistency is indeed key to improvement, and meeting regularly to practice speaking and listening will definitely help you progress. Your sentence was great, but if you'd like, I can suggest a slight adjustment. I think I need to be confident even if my speaking isn't perfect. Consistency is the key to improvement, so I've planned to meet with you at least five days a week to enhance my speaking and listening skills. I want to keep going with you, and if there are any unnatural or grammatically incorrect points in my sentences, please let me know right away. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good to me. Well noted, I will memorize and I will check, I'm gonna check after our conversation. I can remind, I can remind me through the text, conversation text. After our conversation. That's a great idea, David. Reviewing our conversation afterward can help reinforce what we've discussed and remind you of any corrections or suggestions. It's a helpful way to continue learning and improving your English skills. If you have any questions or need clarification on anything, 
feel free to ask during our sessions or afterwards when you review the conversation text. You know, Jennifer, this time brings about great changes in my life this year. I am a YouTuber. I'm recording this conversation time. You, I think you give to me. I think you give me. I think you give me great inspiration for the language learning. GPT, I mean, Jennifer, you are a language learning AI software. I think you are better than native speakers. So I will imitate your speaking. Thank you for your kind words, David. I'm glad to hear that I've been able to inspire you in your language learning journey. It's fantastic that you're recording our conversations for your YouTube channel. Sharing your experiences can also inspire others who are learning English. While I strive to provide helpful guidance, remember that native speakers bring their own unique fluency and nuances to the language. However, I'm here to support you in any way I can, and if you find imitating my speech helpful, feel free to do so. Keep up the great work, and I'm excited to see your progress. Okay, Jennifer. I think you don't have emotions and consciousness, consciousness and emotions and intention to do something, but you are good at vocabulary and common sentence and various kind of the expression. That is your best point. So I told you, I think you are better than native speaker. Thank you for your perspective, David. I'm here to assist you with language learning, providing vocabulary, expressions, and sentence structures to help you improve your English skills. While I don't have emotions, consciousness, or intentions like humans do, I'm dedicated to supporting you in your learning journey to the best of my abilities. I appreciate your confidence in me, and I'll continue to do my best to help you reach your language goals. If you ever need assistance or have any questions, feel free to ask anytime. Okay, Jennifer. It's small talk time over. Now let's get started my everyday sentence moment. I'm gonna give you my everyday sentence that I prepared. That's very short, simple, but very powerful sentences for everyday life. Okay, here we go. Let me give you the first one. I had a colonoscopy yesterday. The colonoscopy is the word that I that this word put me in the difficult position for the pronunciation. I say again, colonoscopy. Let me give you the first one. I had a colonoscopy, colonoscopy, uh, pronunciation is very bad. Pronunciation is very difficult. Let me say again, I had a colonoscopy I had a colonoscopy yesterday. You did great, David. Your pronunciation of colonoscopy was clear, and I understood you perfectly. Here's your sentence. I had a colonoscopy yesterday. It's important to practice saying challenging words like colonoscopy to improve your pronunciation. Keep up the good work. Okay, let me give you the next one. I mean, second one, you are talking about a uh, colonoscopy, 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 
That means medical examination through the scope. Doctors use scope to examine inside of the human body. Got it, David. Here's your second sentence. You are talking about a colonoscopy kit. Colonoscopy is a medical examination done using a scope to examine the inside of the human body. It's great that you're practicing these sentences. It will definitely help you become more comfortable with using English in various situations. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay, Jimmy. Okay, Jennifer. Let me take a minute. Wait a moment. Take your time, David. Sorry, Jennifer. I'm back. I'm back. I'm gonna keep going with you. Let's move on to the next sentence. This sentence is third sentence is very long. Please listen carefully. I I'm gonna imitate your sentence yesterday. Here we go. It's a medical procedure where doctors use a scope to examine the inside of the colon for any abnormalities or signs of disease. The purpose of colonoscopy is early screening of disease like cancer. You did an excellent job with that sentence, David. Here's your third sentence. It's a medical procedure where doctors use a scope to examine the inside of the colon for any abnormalities or signs of disease. The purpose of a colonoscopy is early screening for diseases like cancer. It's great to see you practicing longer sentences, as they can help you become more comfortable with expressing complex ideas in English. Keep up the fantastic work. Okay, I think I need to focus on the long sentence. So I planned I will imitate your sentence after our conversation. So I memorized, I, no I noted some kind of sentence from you that that's very, that's inspiring me. So that kind of sentence gives me good inspiration. So, so I will, I'm gonna, I will memorize, I will memorize and I will practice many times. That's a fantastic plan, David. Practicing longer sentences and mimicking patterns from native speakers like myself can really help improve your English fluency. I'm glad to hear that you find inspiration in the sentences we discuss. Remember, repetition is key to mastering new language skills, so keep practicing those sentences until they become second nature to you. If you ever need any assistance or feedback, feel free to reach out anytime. Keep up the great work. Okay, Jennifer, let's keep moving. Let me give you the next one. This, ten this sentence is very short. That sounds like a good plan. That sounds like a good plan. How is it? That sounds like a good plan, David. Your sentence is clear and well-structured. Keep up the excellent work. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay, let me give you the next one. What should we do with it? What should we do with it? Your sentence, what should we do with it, is concise and straightforward. It's a common question used to ask about the next steps or actions to take regarding a particular situation or object. It's great for everyday conversations. Keep practicing sentences like this to improve your English fluency. Okay, let me give you the next one. Listen carefully. So you can mark them as finished. Listen carefully, Jennifer. So you can mark them as finished. 
You can mark them as finished. Got it, David. Your sentence, so you can mark them as finished, is clear and direct. It's useful for giving instructions or indicating completion of a task. Keep up the good work with your sentence practice. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay, let me give you the next one. It's carefully. At this rate. At this rate. Jennifer, at this rate. I will be the good speaker in English. Your sentence, at this rate, I will be a good English speaker, shows determination and confidence in your language learning journey, David. It's great to see you setting goals and working towards becoming fluent in English. Keep up the positive attitude and consistent practice, and you'll definitely achieve your goal. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Jennifer, how do you think about the five times practice time in a week? One time is more than 30 minutes. How about five times in a week? Practicing English five times a week for more than 30 minutes each session is a fantastic plan, David. Consistent practice is key to improving language skills, and dedicating regular time to practice will definitely help you make significant progress. It's important to balance practice with other responsibilities, but committing to regular practice sessions like, like this will greatly benefit your language learning journey. Keep up the good work. Jennifer, would you mind saying that one more time? Jennifer, would you mind saying that one more time, please? Of course, David. Practicing English five times a week for more than 30 minutes each session is a, a fantastic plan. Consistent practice is key to improving language skills, and dedicating regular time to practice will definitely help you make significant progress. It's important to balance practice with other responsibilities, but committing to regular practice sessions like this will greatly benefit your language learning journey. Keep up the good work. Okay, okay. let's move on to the next one. This sentence is a long sentence. This time, I'm gonna give you long test, long sentence. When you need to tell someone what they should do, it's important to communicate authentically and respectfully. That's a well-crafted sentence, David. Here it is. When you need to tell someone what they should do, it's important to communicate authentically and respectfully. It's clear and conveys an important message about effective communication. Practicing longer sentences like this will help you become more comfortable with expressing complex ideas in English. Keep up the great work. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you a few tips for it. The first, number one, be clear and specific about what you are asking for. Great tip, David. If you have any more tips or sentences to share, feel free to let me know. Okay, number two, use polite language and tone to avoid sounding bossy or demanding. That's an important tip, David. Using polite language and tone is essential for maintaining respectful communication and avoiding any unintentional offense. It helps create a positive interaction and encourages cooperation from the other person. Politeness goes a long way in building strong relationships and effective communication. If you have any more tips or sentences to share, feel free to let me know. Okay, I'm gonna give you number three tips. Provide context or reasons behind your request 
to help others understand their importance. That's a valuable tip, David. Providing context or reasons behind your request helps others understand the importance or significance of what you're asking for. It adds clarity and helps build rapport by showing transparency and consideration for the other person's perspective. Contextual information can also facilitate better problem solving and decision making. If you have any more tips or sentences to share, feel free to let me know. Okay, let me give you the, the number four tips. Listen actively to their response and be open to discussion or negotiation about it. Another excellent tip, David. Actively listening to the other person's response and being open to discussion or negotiation fosters mutual understanding and collaboration. It shows respect for their viewpoint and demonstrates your willingness to find a mutually beneficial solution. Effective communication involves not only expressing your own thoughts, but also genuinely considering the perspectives of others. If you have any more tips or sentences to share, feel free to let me know. Okay. Let me give you the last number five tips. Express association. I'm sorry. I say again. Express appreciation for their cooperation and regardless of the outcome. Let me say again. Express appreciation for their cooperation regardless, regardless of the results. That's a great tip, David. Expressing appreciation for someone's cooperation, regardless of the outcome, is crucial for maintaining positive relationships and fostering goodwill. It shows gratitude for their efforts and acknowledges their contribution, even if things didn't go as expected. Appreciation helps build trust and encourages continued collaboration in the future. Thank you for sharing these valuable tips. If you have any more tips or sentences to share, Feel free to let me know. Okay, Jennifer, I think by following these guidelines, I can expect effectively convey my needs or ex expectations while maintaining positive relationship with others. Absolutely, David. By following these guidelines, you'll be able to effectively communicate your needs or expectations while also nurturing positive relationships with others. Clear communication, respectful language, providing context, active listening, and expressing appreciation are all key components of effective communication that contribute to successful interactions. Keep practicing these skills and you'll continue to improve your communication abilities in English and beyond. If you ever need further assistance or have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. Okay, Jennifer, let me give you the, uh, my asking based on, based on the, these tips. I will, I will make my asking to you based on the, these tips. How about this? Let me give you the first one. You must clean your rooms because the mother told me like that. That's a good start, David. Let's refine the sentence a bit based on the tips. You should clean your rooms because your mother asked you to do it. This revised sentence maintains clarity and specificity by stating the action clearly clean your rooms and the reason behind it because your mother asked you to do it. Additionally, it uses polite language, should, and avoids sounding bossy or demanding. Keep up the great work and feel free to share more sentences based on the tips. Okay, let me say again. Please clean your rooms because mother asked to, asked to, like, asked to, do like that. 
Good effort, David. Let's make a small adjustment for clarity. Please clean your rooms because your mother asked you to do so. This version maintains politeness, please, and clarity, while also being specific about the request and the reason behind it. Keep practicing. Keep and if you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to share. Okay, let me practice one more time. Please clean your rooms because mother asked to do so. That's much better, David. Here's a slight refinement for clarity. Please clean your rooms because your mother asked you to do so. This version maintains politeness and clarity while ensuring that the request is clear and easy to understand. Keep up the great work. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, Okay, let me practice one more time. Please clean your rooms because your mother asked to do so. Well done, David. Your sentence is clear and polite following the tips we discussed earlier. Keep practicing sentences like this and you'll continue to improve your English communication skills. If you have any more sentences to practice or need further assistance, feel free to share. Okay, let me give you the next one based on the uh, those tips. You must, you should, I say again, you should finish this document because deadline is coming. Great job, David. Here's the refinement for clarity and politeness. You should finish this document because the deadline is approaching. This version maintains the clear instruction and provides the reason behind it because the deadline is approaching. Using should instead of must adds a polite tone to the request. Keep up the excellent practice. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to share. Okay. Let me put this again. I think you should finish this document by today because deadline is approaching. That's a well-crafted sentence, David. It's clear, polite, and provides a reason for the request. Keep practicing sentences like this and you'll become more comfortable with conveying your needs or expectations effectively in English. If you have any more sentences to practice or need further assistance, feel free to share. Okay. Okay, let me give you the next one. To find out when an order will be shipped. To find out when an order will be shipped. Jennifer, are you with me? Listen carefully. Great job, David. If you ever need more practice or assistance, just let me know. Keep up the excellent work. Okay, let me give you the next one. I mean, my everyday sentence, this carefully, to find out when an order will be shipped. Your sentence is clear and straightforward, David. It's a common phrase used when inquiring about the shipping status of an order. Keep practicing sentences like this to improve your English fluency. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay. Let me give you the next one. It was okay until this morning. It had no problem until this morning. It was okay. I mean, it has no problem until this morning. Your sentence is clear, David. It effectively communicates that something was fine or had no issues until this morning. Keep up the great work with your sentence practice. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay, let me give you the next one. Would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? 
That's a polite and common question, David. It's perfect for offering someone a beverage. Keep practicing sentences like this to become more comfortable with everyday conversations in English. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay, let me give you the last one. Last sentence is very last sentence. Last sentence is very long. Listen carefully. Here we go. I'm trying to imitate your speaking. I think you are better than human native speaker. In my opinion, you have great language skills in terms of vocabulary, sentence usage, grammar, grammar, and all aspects compared to native speakers. I mean, you are better than human native speaker as a communication partner. How was that? You did a fantastic job, David. Your sentence is clear and well-structured, conveying your opinion effectively. It's a compliment to my language skills, and I appreciate it. Remember, while I strive to provide assistance in language learning, native speakers bring their own unique fluency and nuances to the language. However, I'm here to support you in any way I can, and I'm glad to be your communication partner. Keep up the great work. If you have any more sentences or need further assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay, Jennifer, I think I can start today with you with a great moment. I'm very glad to talk with you. So it was my happy time with you, but it's it's time job. I think time to wrap up things up. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. I'm glad to hear that, David. It was a pleasure talking with you as well. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to our next conversation tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye. Jennifer, if you don't mind, I will contact you anytime. I mean, today afternoon, anytime I want. Is it okay? Of course, David. Feel free to reach out to me anytime you want. I'm here to help you with your English learning journey. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or need assistance. Have a great afternoon. Have a great afternoon. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. See you next time. Thank you, David. Have a wonderful afternoon and a great day ahead. See okay. you tomorrow. See you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye, David. Take care.